Well, I think, uh, you, as, as has been said, you're not going to play hockey forever. And uh, in, in the workforce nowadays, you need a, a degree. And uh, what a better way to combine hockey with uh, education and get your degree. And I think uh, it's being proved that there are more and more college players coming out of college and playing in the National Hockey League. And I think that's uh, something that's really uh, important. And uh, you can combine getting a degree, playing very high level hockey, and potentially playing pro hockey in, uh, all in one. And, it's a, a pretty good package to put together. When you're out recruiting, I mean, do, do you sort of your kids getting that message a little bit more? Uh, you know, why college might have some benefits over major juniors? Well, there were 30 percent of the national hockey league this past year played college hockey, so it, uh, uh, it the word's out there, and, and I think it's it's important that uh, people realize that. Uh, you know, you can combine the best of both worlds, and there are 59 Division One hockey programs, and we all play very high level. We're all producing players that uh, play pro hockey. Nathan Moncray played in the American Hockey League this past year, played with uh, uh, Vancouver in their, their training camp. Uh, Denny Urban and Dave Cowan both went to training camp with Toronto. Uh, Corey Conacher from Canisius uh, was the MVP of the American Hockey League. He's probably going to play in the NHL next year. So there are good hockey players coming out of everywhere. And uh, to combine playing very high level competition um, with getting a good education is second to none. And what does it mean to you to have an event like this in Pittsburgh, sort of the growth of, of Pittsburgh youth hockey? Well, Pittsburgh youth hockey is busting at the seams, and it just keeps growing and growing. And you know, you're going to see it with uh, players getting drafted from Pittsburgh and, and players playing college hockey from Pittsburgh. And um, it's really a uh, you know, the, the events that Pittsburgh's held lately with the Winter Classic, the Stanley Cup Finals, now the draft, and, and the Frozen Four of what we're hosting is, is really becoming uh, kind of a mecca for hockey and to include college hockey and to include this uh, College Hockey Incorporated Summit in it is something that's really neat. And it, uh, if college hockey uh, uh, continues to grow in this area, it's going to continue to grow with our Pittsburgh College Hockey Invitational Tournament, the Frozen Four here, and uh, youth hockey is continuing growing. So it's a logical progression that uh, uh, this has become uh, a hockey town.